Hello my friends, it is officially soup season and I am excited to share with you a really great, delicious, full of flavor soup. We are making roasted tomato and red pepper soup today. Yay! No need to take notes here, just watch with me the step-by-step -step as we go through, but in the description I will link the actual recipe with the ingredients um, and refer back to this video in case you need to kind of remember how to do it, but let's get started. First thing we need to do is wash all of our vegetables. You guys know that's what you gotta do. Next up, we need to uh, cut up some onions. I have two small onions and one medium onion, so I'm using that as a total. Um, whatever you wanna do in terms of two medium, three small, whatever works for you, whatever you have in your home. Just take the root off and cut them into uh, halves or quarters depending on the size that you are working with. Next we need to go ahead and do the same thing with our red peppers. I just want some nice big pieces of pepper but I don't want to waste any of the deliciousness of a pepper so get those little slices off the top and the bottom as well because we can use those. I am using Roma tomatoes for this particular recipe. Uh, I think you can use other tomatoes, but I think this, this is kind of the hearty tomato. So again, we wanna cut them in quarters and take that little root or nub off of the tomato as well before we go ahead and put them on our sheet pan. I'm placing all of the vegetables that I've chopped up onto my sheet pan just kind of randomly, but also so that the tomatoes and the peppers the onions and the garlic cloves are all mixed around. Once you have your items on a sheet pan, we are going to give a very hearty drizzle of olive oil all over the place. We are also going to add an abundance of salt and pepper as we preheat our oven to 400 degrees. So your sheet pans should look like this. It should have all of your ingredients, a nice helping of olive oil, your aromatics, your seasoning, salt and peppers, and you're gonna get this into your 400 degree oven for about a half an hour. Once that half hour is done, we will take it out and do the next step. You have waited your 30 minutes and these beautiful vegetables are now roasted soft with tons of flavor from the onions and all of this great deliciousness just oozing through. And like even some of the onions have that nice little browning to them. This is why we wanted to roast all of these before actually turning it into soup. So very carefully, we're gonna need to take our vegetables and put them in your soup pot. Now, they're very hot right out of the oven, so be careful. Oh, you can smell the flavor right on the pan, just the roasting and the skin and all oh, these garlic and onions. Now, if you used a spatula like me, you probably got most of the juice, but if you have any runoff of juice here, do not waste that, get that into your pot. All right, we have a ton of roasted vegetables. Now I'm going to add in my vegetable or chicken stock, whatever you want. And I am going to go with about three cups. I have four here, but I only wanna add three cups based on the amount of tomatoes and onions and veggies that I have. Now, before you can blend this, we need to heat it up on the stove top for a couple more minutes just to get that stock to temperature and everything to really marry in the pot before we give it a blend. So let's do that for about 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll come back here, blend and taste. Oh wait, we need to season a little extra too. Dried basil and thyme need to go in here when we heat it all up so all of those flavors can also mesh together before we blend. So let's go. We've let that soup, whoo, whoo, that's hot. <laughs> 
We have let the rest of that soup, let all those flavors come together. Can you even see me through the smoke? <laughs> It smells amazing, I can tell you that, but now it's time to blend. I am not a fan of now transferring this to another kind of utensil or tool or something that you're gonna have to clean. So I love my immersion blender, but if you wanna use a regular stand-up blender or if you have a Vitamix, I mean, their options are endless for how to blend it. This probably takes a couple more minutes than the other methods, but I will do less dishes. So give her. In this type of soup, I really wanna get rid of all the chunks, so I'm gonna do this for a good five or six minutes until all of the skin and the chunks and everything from the tomato, onions, and peppers are blended smoothly. If you need to, tip your pot a little bit. and make sure you get all those chunks out. And we did, did not take that long at all. And that is it. That is your roasted tomato and red pepper soup. You can add some heavy cream into this if you want to make it a little more velvety and creamy. I've even used a little bit of coconut milk before, but that really does change the flavor profile. I like it just the way it is. It is beautiful, it is rich in flavor, and I'm just gonna plate some. And one thing that I really do like doing with this particular soup is a little garnishing. Because I added some dry basil into the ingredients of this, I'm also going to garnish it with fresh basil and because I love a little texture, I like croutons too. And it makes it look so beautiful. It's beautiful, it's savory, it's rich in flavor and so gorgeous, the color that comes out of this. I thought it was pretty easy to make too. I hope that you are enjoying soup season to the fullest already. Let me know what soups you're making and if you're gonna try this one. Leave me a comment below, hit that subscribe button and hang out with me next time I post a video here on YouTube. Till then.